In this video, we're gonna talk about five things that helped us find a $700 luxury apartment here in Saigon, Vietnam. We're gonna cover things like costs, location, and services. Stick around till the end that there might be some useful information for you should you wish to visit Saigon, Vietnam. So let's get started. Last year, we quit our six-figure jobs, backed up our lives in Australia, and now we are doing an adult gap year with our toddler. Our goal is simple. Focus on creating a freedom-based business with the bonus of travel. First and foremost, it's always important to choose the location based on your needs. Now, when we decided to come to Vietnam, we thought of two locations, either Saigon or Da Nang. However, one of the most important thing for us to consider was Yara's preschool. And when we did a lot of research, we found a lot more options here in Saigon in comparison to Da Nang. Saigon is a bustling metropolitan city. You can sort of expect most things that you would get in a Western country. And even though there's traffic, it's not as hectic as Bangkok. Now, when we did research, we have seen that a lot of people would choose Da Nang because obviously, as I mentioned earlier, it being a beach town, but we were completely blown away by Ho Chi Minh City, the Saigon over here. We haven't seen much video of people coming into this area. They normally visit the northern part of Vietnam or go to Da Nang. I would recommend like if you're, for example, an expat family who is looking to come to Vietnam and try out the lifestyle here, you should definitely have a look in Saigon. Now, Saigon is a massive city, so the entire city is broken up into districts, and there are three districts that you should be aware of. District 1, which has the city center, most of the tourist areas, as well as a lot of offices and high-rise buildings, both residential and commercial. Then you've got District 2, which is the expat areas. Most of the international preschools are there, a lot of services that you can expect, such as Anam Grocery for international food and items, a lot of restaurants, mostly in District 2, called Tao Diem. And then you've got District 7, which is also an expert area where it's a little bit far away however if you want like the house the suburban area then district 7 is nice we primarily looked at district 2 in Tao Dien because in all the other countries we've always preferred living in and around expat locations but we didn't find a property that met our needs because mostly the houses they wouldn't allow less than 12 months contract and the ones that we did find we didn't quite like it so we ended up in district 1 however it was not exactly in the city center but a little bit more closer towards the boundary of district too. The other thing that I would like to mention is that you could ask like why didn't you live in an Airbnb? Now from our past experience in Malaysia and in Thailand we've seen that you could get a house at a much more competitive price if you either go through an agent or any other real estate rather than Airbnb because we have found Airbnb prices can be much more higher so that's one of the reasons why when we came here in Vietnam we were actively looking through agents and all these other places. <laughs> Okay, this particular tip is a gold and this is something that we came across really early on in our travel and I think this is something you should consider whether you're a traveling family or an expat family. And that is Facebook expat groups are your friend. Over there, you're gonna find landlords, you're gonna find agents through whom you can get direct rentals as opposed to going through Airbnb. It's gonna save you a lot of money. You're probably gonna get better houses as well. Now in saying that, it doesn't mean that you're always gonna get lucky. You might get lucky you might not get lucky touch wood we have been lucky so far we're gonna keep on trying that trick in all the other countries that we go these groups are actually a gold of a lot of information so when we first came to Saigon we had lined up a whole bunch of inspections through this strategy and we booked a hotel for two days however when we reached here the hotel basically said that you know we don't have your booking even though it was booked and it was in the middle of the night we had just flown in from Hanoi and yeah Yara was asleep we were tired and this is uh, what we had it was our first travel mishap an absolute nightmare so we found the closest hotel we could find we didn't at that point realize that hotel was one of the most expensive hotels in, in Vietnam at that point in time at night you would only get the rooms available and usually the rooms available at short notice are the most expensive ones so yeah so we had to go ahead and pay $350 a night and we couldn't stay for very long and then the next day we just had to go and get a property we were lucky in a way that one of our friends had actually lived in Saigon before for. they connected us with a real estate agent here and she was able to go and find this property for us at a good deal and we're going to tell you a little bit more about that in the later points mm -hmm. 
So the community we live in is called Golden River Vin Homes. And this was built by the Vin Group, which is one of the biggest conglomerate here in Vietnam. It's a gated community. They take their security very seriously. There are lots of security guards around. And within each condo, there are fingerprint security. And within this community, you've got around six condos. You've got a school. You've got a number of grocery stores. And you've got some cafes as well. In terms of services, they've got multiple swimming pools. You've got tennis court. You've got basketball court and you've got the river just beside it where you've got a really nice walkway for walking or running. So this particular condo is in District 1. The location of where it is in District 1 is not too far away from District 2 which is the Thao Dian area where we initially wanted to stay. So it turned out to be quite nice. It's just 15 minutes drive when it's not peak traffic of course. On top of that what Nabil mentioned there is also a fantastic gym here. Like if we didn't go to our gym in F45 we would go in our home gym here and the most important thing Thing is the security it is insane crazy we have to go through three different security levels to go to our home there's a security in building there's a security in lift and there's a security in home basically you have to use your finger to get all the access honestly I feel that mishap at the beginning of our journey it was a different way for the universe to find this house for us and the unit itself is extremely nice it's on the 18th floor you've got a really nice view of Saigon you can see the river you can see the bridge the unit has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's got all the amenities that you want, like you've got the TV, you've got the microwave, you've got central air conditioning. One of the things that is really nice about this apartment is that they've got all these automated blinds for the curtains as well, which looks really nice in the morning. Uh, yeah, we like small things in life. Those <laughs> things are very important to us. So in overall, we had a very nice experience. I personally feel that over the past few months, we've lived in Malaysia and in Thailand and now in Vietnam. The house in Vietnam was the best so far, 100%, right? Yeah. 100%. And you know, two bedroom, two bathroom for this for price, price is insane. Is a steal. Speaking of price, that's our next point. The most important thing, leaving it for the last. How much did it cost us? So we paid 700 US dollars for this per month. And that includes everything from your rent to their management fees, which is actually pretty high in this unit, given the facilities and everything that you've got. Electricity, water, and everything that could be done. But we had to pay a one month bond, which is quite normal with direct rentals, but you would get that at the end of your stay. So that comes down to around $23 a day. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Yeah, given that that hotel was $350, for a day it is a steal but mind you that hotel room was in the tallest building in Vietnam so that had to be expensive our real estate agent because we came through a referral got us a pretty hefty discount a unit like this just the rent itself would be anywhere between 900 to a thousand dollars for short-term rental even more so that they don't really allow short-term rentals so the fact that she was able to negotiate that with the landlord as well as the management of this complex was really good on her if you'd like to get in touch with our real estate agent should you ever wish to come to Vietnam Vietnam, do send us a message and we'll be happy to pass that on to you. All right, so that's it. So that's five points that helped us find this amazing house here in Saigon, Vietnam. If you are a expat or a digital nomad family who's planning on coming to Vietnam, do definitely consider Saigon. It's a brilliant city and we hope that you find this video helpful. Now we've been on an adult gap year over the past few months and we found all of these different things by trial and error and a lot of research and we put them all into this really comprehensive guide that gives you an overview as to how you yourself can create a adult gap year for yourself we'll link that for you in the description below and it's completely free we just wanted to make sure that you know it, this particular information goes out to a lot more people so yeah check the description if you are interested in it. we've also done accommodation videos in Malaysia and also in Thailand I will link them in the description also so if you like this video maybe you can go and have a look if you happen to choose to go to Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur or in Bangkok in Thailand thank you very much for watching take care and see you in the next video bye, -bye. Bye.